So you can sort of you can sprint, you can team, sprint you can all the team that's camping red lift. The entire team is camping red lift. What do you do? The, you're talking about the yellow, whatever. There's yellow. yellow lift, and then there's red lift on the opposite side. So you're up there. Um, you got red lift, you got one guy watching red lift with the shot in, you got the other three guys that are watching down the This is four and four? Yeah. No armor abilities. You need sprint. That's what you get the pro. Okay, well, no, seriously. So you're camping up there with your shotgun, so clearly you can't take the lift. That's a bad can't idea. Can't take the lift. That's fine. You've got the, the stairs you can go up, and then you've got yellow lift you can come in from two angles, whereas you can actually. Can you go the side window anymore? Or no. No, you can't. You can't make that. No, you have to jet back over there. Well, that kind of makes you shitty. But you just spam grenades, destroy all. If you, if I throw, if I get a coordinated team and we throw nothing but frags and uh, you guys, plasma grenades. You guys play too much team battle. When you, when you play 4v4, especially in arena, they just camp. Like that pinnacle, that rocket video, mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw that. No. That's all they do. They get up in the tall tower. Oh, no, no. You can't break that. Yeah, yeah, I got, I'm you I'm can not. break it. It's just hard to break I'm, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know how I broke it? I had to crouch walk literally across half the map all the way up into their spawn. That's because awesome. the fucking radar is always on in the arena, which is yeah. bullshit. Why is the radar on in a competitive game time? I and think this is just your ADD talking. What's my age? You want to kick the door in and storm the lesbian stronghold, but sometimes it takes a little, <laughs> it takes a little work. No, I'm totally all about a coordinated push to break an opposing team setup, and I understand that Halo is about patience and playing it a lot slower than COD, and I like that about the game, but they made it just so difficult to break setups. Okay, now, if you wait, include armor, where, where are you camping? Where are you camping with the shotgun? On the lift, where are you? There's the room just where you just near the lift. lift. Just so there's that window that opening. If you got enough guys who are skilled enough at lobbing grenades in that room, where can you go besides sprint out where you could have some dudes waiting for you by the lift and you're talking DMRs, right? The point the point is, the point is, even if the, even if the breaking setup is possible, the fact that it turns the game into just that, we all hold up in one spot and you gotta come force us out of this spot, and in doing so you're probably gonna suffer a few deaths, like while we keep racking up kills is like stupid. Like you need a better way to break a setup than just because in arena, especially in doubles, you get in doubles on sword base you get one guy up in the vent, you know, the very top vent, and you get one guy watching his back in the break room. And that's it. I don't move the whole game. And like you run into that with COD too. I mean that I guess that's gonna happen in every FPS, but I'll side of the on team doubles. I play games that don't go past ten kills. It's boring. Majority of them are just you just sit and wait and you're just like Asylum is like the like the only decent map for doubles because you can't really hide. It's like such a small map and it's really open. Should do Mount Cage. Mount Cage was the one. The uh, whatever the, the rape room. The cage is also <laughs> fucking fucked because if you get armor abilities, you get jetpack. You jetpack all the way to the top and you can just dominate from up there. And the only way to dislodge that dude is if you have a jetpack. But if you try and jetpack up there, he's gonna fuck you up because you're such an easy target. If you're not at the very top, you're at the tower of the cage. And if you get four dudes close up on that tower, sure you can throw grenades and like do some damage, but it's so hard to dislodge them from that. They grab a snipe, they run back to the tower, and they got three guys back in the There's rockets on the cage, right? There is, yeah, but you gotta run all the way, you gotta find a way to get to that. I mean, you can fire a long range rocket across the map, and you, you, you could kill somebody, but they just made it too hard. Like, compare that with like Guardian. On Halo 3, it's like, when did that ever happen in Guardian? Or the pit. Like, you had setups in the pit, but it was definitely a more aggressive play. And yet, there was way more incentive to move out of your spawn. You had overshield, you had rockets, you had snipe, like, all over the map. And, and I just don't find that to be the case. I know. That's I don't know. Well, we'll have to see. I feel, like, I, I feel like I like that. I like when there is a position that it can be defended in. Like it becomes like a tactical puzzle. I don't know. I'm into it. It's a pickle. I mean, I, a lot of people were saying that like, you just don't, you don't get it. Because I haven't been playing Halo, like a lot of people were saying, it's been like that since Halo 2. Like in Halo 2, you had to have a coordinated push to break a team setup. Yep. And if you're not, you know, if you can't get down with that, you should stop bitching. Which, I can understand that point of view, I get that. But... My, I guess my perspective is a little different. It's like I'm just jumping into the series, and like that's what I'm greeted with. <laughs> I still love it. It's a great game.